Hey fellow backyard boyers, Nick here. Today we're going to be building a snaky recurve bow. And it's going to be similar to the one that I showed you guys. It's also going to be a center shot bow. And we're going to be following the instructions from my latest book, Simple PVC Pipe Bows. And you can see it, that's the bow right there on the cover. So what you're going to need to start is you're going to need a 1 inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Now for this particular bow we're going to be starting with 58 inches, so a 58 inch length of PVC pipe. Now if you wanted to make it lighter, because at this length the bow is going to end up anywhere from about 45 to 55 pounds, but probably about 50. And if you wanted to make it lighter, you just need to increase the length of the pipe. And if you want it to be shorter or heavier, then you shorten the pipe. And that also goes if you have a longer or a shorter draw than 28 inches. If your draw is shorter, reduce the pipe by one inch for every one inch of draw under 28. And if your draw is over 28 inches, just increase the length of pipe one inch for every inch of draw over 28. And as is, you know, this, the bow of this dimensions will work for up to a 30 inch draw. So that will get you about 50 to 60 pounds. So what we're going to do now is you're going to need to mark the center of your pipe and then two inches out on either side and this will become your handle. Then you're also going to need to mark nine inches from both ends. So now the next step is we're going to flatten this. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So after flattening Here's our one inch PVC pipe. And then you also want to go ahead and you want to form the handle. So once you've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to recurve the tips here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a nine inch pot or something cylindrical that has a nine inch diameter. And what we're going to do is we're going to heat this tip up and actually form it around the pot here. This is going to give us a static recurve tip with a 90 degree bend in it. So to do that we're going to heat up the tip until it's soft just before it starts puffing out. Okay, so now that it's soft, and you can see it's already kind of puffing up, that's not a bad thing. What you want to do is you want to hold it with a towel or a hot pad and you want to press it up against the pot here. And you just want to do this until it sets. Should be pretty quick. All right. and there we go. So you just want to sight down and make sure it lines up with the rest of the bow. And now that it's completely raining, I'm going to go complete this other side and I'll show you what that looks like. So once you've got both sides recurved, as you can see, what you want to do is you want to go and mark at the center of the 9 inch mark here. And then you want to make two marks 3 eighths of an inch from the end on both sides. You want to center that up and then I used a flexible ruler to draw these lines. Now you could actually put these in before you do the recurving. I like doing it after because sometimes the, the tips get a little twisted from side to side and this straightens them out. So the next step is to take a saw and you want to cut this V out because what we're going to do next is we're going to heat this together and then we're going to uh, heat and glue this together to become a single tapered tip. You can see that. So 
let's go put that together. So you can use just about any glue. You can use PVC cement. If you're going to use PVC cement for this, you should get at least medium bodied, but like a heavy bodied PVC cement because you're going to need it to fill some gaps. This isn't going to be perfect. Now what I'm going to be using today is some epoxy putty. So what you do is you just take some sandpaper you just want to go and smooth out these edges just get all the burrs off and just make it a somewhat rough surface that the epoxy putty can adhere to. you've got both sides sanded down what you want to do is you want to put your adhesive in between on both sides of this joint with the epoxy putty I'm just going to put it on one side and then when I heat this up I'm going to press this together what you do is you take your epoxy putty and you're going to need to mix it up so just knead it with your hands all right so now that it's mixed together what I'm doing is just rolling it out into this kind of long strip you want it to be long enough to fill all the gaps Then what you want to do is you want to start applying this and just pressing it into the cracks here. Alright, so it's over that and you just want to go on the inside and you want to patch that up as best you can. For right now, you mainly just want to get at least one entire surface. So you want to take your heat gun and you want to heat up the base here. And then, once that's pliable, you want to actually squeeze both sides together here. And you're going to have to go from the end, sight down the bow, and make sure that it's lining up. You can see that. And I have to go back So once you got it together, you just want to hold it together, or better yet, if you could clamp it. And then you just want to spread the putty down 
as well as you can to fill up any gaps. So you just got to let this harden and then you can go back and scrape this off.